Welcome to another video from Bible Journaling Beginnings, an e-series to answer your questions and help you get started journaling in your Bible. Today's video will explain composition and how I lay out my lettering without any pre-planning. I chose a verse to write and mentally noted the words I wanted to emphasize. Remember, if you have a long verse, choose a shortened phrase to make it more manageable to write in the small space. My first word is everyone. It's a longer word, but I want it to be larger, so I'll put it on two lines. I often alternate between script and all caps to give my artwork some contrast. For the word calls, I'm going to give the letters some thickness. Again, this is to emphasize it and bring out the contrast so that it stands out from the word who. Put down the basic skeleton of the letter first, and then you can go back and add in the details, the thicknesses. And this is sort of like the meat on the bones. When I have shorter words like in, the, of, at, on, etc., I look for ways to position them in an interesting way. Now here, I don't have a whole lot of room to write the next word, so I'm going to have to kind of squeeze it in. I opted to do it that way instead of coming down to the next line because I didn't want that big gap of white space there. Now here I have to consider the upcoming words in the phrase, of the Lord. I'm choosing to stretch these shorter words of the across the whole line instead of squeezing it all in because I want to make the word Lord big and bold. Again, I'll alternate script with all caps because it allows me to fill in spaces around the L in Lord. You can see there's a gap above the second L, which is the perfect spot to put a little word like the word B. Now, there's a little problem here in my spacing. The W-I-L look squished, and there's too much space between the two L's, so I'm gonna come back and fix that in a minute. First, I'm gonna put down the last word in the verse using a combo of script and caps, just to kind of change it up a bit. Now I'm going to go back and fix up that spacing in the word will. Now that I'm done, I think it looks good, but there's a little space right here that's open and empty and it's just crying out for something to fill it. So I'm going to draw in a couple of connected vines. Okay, great. I can go back and add in any little details here or fix anything I don't like, and then I'm ready to get out my paints and my pens and ink it in. For more lettering and drawing how-tos, go to crystalwitten.com and check out my blog. Thanks for watching.